Okay, so here I am back on the computer and away from the video camera, and now I will show you exactly how to put the songs onto the Craig MP3 player. First, you're going to bring up Windows Media Player because we will be using the sync feature on here. And we're going to uh, give this a minute because it's taking a while. Okay, there it is. Um, go into the sync option and uh, no I don't want to name that it, it I've got my camera plugged in right now uh, anyway but going over to David's mp3 player um, let's see uh, first thing we want to do is set it up so if you don't have uh, the information for syncing already on your mp3 player then uh, go under the sync drop down menu and choose advanced options. Here you can name it. Uh, make sure this uh, create folder hierarchy on device is checked. And then go under quality and in here we want to set up this convert music pictures, videos, and TV shows as required by this device. Make sure that's checked and then go down come down here and make sure that this box is plugged or is checked is uh, select maximum quality level and in here you've got four different options you can uh, keep the song quality to 192 kilobytes per second you can do 160 128 and 64 and uh, uh, these are all really cool because this allows you to add a lot more music onto your mp3 player than normal uh, like mine, I had mine maxed out, so instead I put this all the way down to the bottom, and now it's only half full. So you can put about twice as many songs on here by converting them all to the lowest possible bitrate. But select that, hit apply, and then OK. And now you're all set to go ahead and add songs. So under the sync option, go over here to this library, choose songs, and then you can go through and pick songs that you want. And, uh, word of advice, put them on in the order you want them to be because the device does not have a way of organizing them other than what is put on for first stays in that order. So if I grabbed a bunch of random songs and just stuck them on, they would stay in that order that they were synced to the device. That would be like if I came down here, let's see, select uh, my music folder and then let's see that'd be like if I came over here and just grabbed a bunch of songs it would randomly put them on in any order that I want and you can't organize them once they're on the device uh, it's kinda goofy uh, definitely a huge setback but anyway so instead what we'll do is convert them all to the smaller file size which is really very handy. Uh, I put the song on there and push start sync and it will prepare to sync it. The downfall of us all. That song's awesome. If you haven't heard that by a, a day to remember, look that up. Okay. And there it is. It's all synced to the device. Pretty awesome. And um, something else also, uh, when you download music, sometimes there'll be different file sizes or bit rates per song. Sometimes you'll get one that's 128 uh, kilobytes, sometimes it's 192, sometimes you get one that's 320, which is like the maximum quality. Uh, so you get a very high quality song, but it takes up like 8 megabytes for one song which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so instead you uh, change them all to a smaller f size. If you convert them say to 128 kilobytes as you're syncing them but some of the songs are already 128 then it will skip the conversion process and just automatically sync them to, to the device. So you will get songs out of order. So the best thing to do is use a program like Super C and convert them all to a specific bitrate. Like I converted all my music to 192 kilobytes per second. That's 
all my music. That took me like three days to do. But it's worth it to keep the songs in order. So once they're on in order and you've synced them, then we can come down here, uh, choose music folder. There it is, a day to remember. And if I just refresh this, it'll put it back. And the hierarchy setup, uh, first it creates a folder of the artist, then it creates a folder of the album, and then the actual song. So a pretty awesome setup there. That's it for this part of the how to use the Craig MP3 player. And now back to the rest of the video.